Singapore's economy grew faster in the fourth quarter of 2013 than previously estimated. It was boosted in, in part by the manufacturing sector. Instead of contracting, the economy has in fact expanded by 6.1% on a quarterly basis. For the full year, growth was at 4.1%, also better than forecast. But the government says it's keeping its overall growth forecast for 2014 at between 2 and 4%. Well, earlier I asked Leon Pereira of Spire Research for his view on today's figures. Well, the GDP growth of 4.1% is at the higher end of the expectations band. Uh, it's uh, really a little bit higher than what uh, was widely expected, and that's because of a very strong fourth quarter performance, and that in turn is due to a surge in manufacturing. Manufacturing grew about 7% year on year in the fourth quarter, and there's good quarter on quarter momentum as well. So I think what this tells us is that we are in more favorable global territory. The manufacturing sector and the export sector will ride on that into 2014. But the non-oil domestic export numbers we had only a few days ago were not anywhere near so positive. Well, I think going forward into 2014, they will turn the corner. Uh, the ex non all domestic exports as a whole in 2013, you're right, actually underperformed, so minus 6% for the whole year. Recent figures have not, um, uh, have not pointed to the full potential. I think if we go forward into 2014 as a, as a result of the U.S. recovery, which is broad-based and well-grounded, some upward trend in the northern European countries where a lot of exports from Singapore are going, and not too much of a slowdown from China, we expect that there there's a lot of room uh, for those exports to grow. And if you look at the manufacturing sector, which is uh, a big driver uh, of non-oil domestic exports, Spire is forecasting 5% growth, up from 1.7% uh, last year. Do you go along with that? Yes, I would, absolutely. Uh, I think that the global environment is really the key factor um, that makes uh, all the difference. It is a more favorable global environment. Globally, we're looking at 3.5 percent growth in 2014 compared to about 3 percent global growth. And interesting leads to developed countries that are really driving this. So Singapore will benefit from that and manufacturing will continue to grow, not extravagantly and uh, over the top, but certainly uh, uh, much more than uh, was seen in 2013. What about the domestic picture? Retail sales weren't looking that strong? Well, the domestic side will, uh, will be a mixed bag. Uh, wholesale, I think, will still see some momentum. The wholesale sector, the trading sector, basically was one of the star performing sectors in 2013, uh, and that will continue to ride off a more favorable global environment. But retail will be muted, that's true. And I think that's a function of the outlook for tourism. Growth in tourism is slowing down in terms of inbound visitors as well as in terms of receipts. And that's really because most of our tourists coming into Singapore from our regional neighbors, from China, India, Indonesia, and so on. And these countries in general are seeing a slightly slower rate of growth in 2014 compared to what they saw in 2013, particularly in China. So that will lead to a slow uh, tourism-related sector growth. And what of potential harm from the tapering of QE in the United States? Well, that will affect the financial services center to some extent. Uh, part of financial services, of course, is fund management. And we will see a pullback of some funds away from Asia towards the US as a result of an appreciating US dollar, which is due to tapering and all the uh, effects that are attendant on that. So that will affect the offshore portion of the financial services. Financial services, of course, will also see, uh, will also suffer, I should say, from a somewhat slower uh, property market due to cooling measures because uh, property loans are a big part of that. So that will have some drag on uh, financial services growth.